and so one, one thing I wanted to say about technology is use it to your advantage. I, as, as Kathy said, I spent a lot of time in avatar-mediated virtual worlds, and when I come back into meet space, like a place like this, one of the things that you don't have is the back channel, because when you're in those worlds, you always have the back channel. So whenever I meet with people who spend most of their time in that space or other meet space, they all use Twitter as a back channel. So what I do in class now is, I say, here's the hashtag for the class, I'm gonna monitor it. If it's getting boring, I'll change channels. If you have questions, I'll use it. So have them engage in the technology, but as that kind of legitimate back channel, so that you know, I can hear what the seven-second interlude is. It's, this is really boring me. I hate math. So engaging them in that medium yeah. rather than letting them use that right. media for any. Yeah. Right. I use this thing called the Google Jockey, which it means I half the time pretend like I'm even more batty than I am, and just say, "Okay, come on, someone find out the, the information for this yes, on, for me." And I want two of you to find it out, and I want you to find different information, that's and great. then I want you to talk about it. So that's the tool that's is great. actually part of the teaching. 